Hello Aquarius and welcome to your spiritual awakening video. Aquarius, we are going to have a look at some tarot cards and some oracle cards to get the messages that are here for you. I want to remind you that these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else watching this video. If you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to work with you. So these are the cards that we have. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now and hit that notification bell as I release videos every single day for you. So Aquarius, we are seeing that you are definitely going through that spiritual awakening. We have Tulsi here who is a herb that is really good for cleansing and clearing out toxins. The card that we have here is the awakening card, really indicating that you are going through that stage of transformation. This card is the judgment card also in the tarot. So it's talking about awakening. It's talking about listening to your higher calling. Why are you here? Going through the journey of spiritual awakening really forces us to ask these questions. Why am I here? What is my purpose? How can I serve humanity? And with this card, you're really encouraged to ask more and more of those questions because you are going through that time of transformation. You are going through that time of change. And this card is indicating that perhaps as you are going through these changes, doing rituals such as meditation or your own spiritual ritual that you choose, as we see with our card, there's some sort of ritual here going. We have our mala beads, we have our light, and we have our tulsi, which is also known as holy basil. And it's, a, it's an incredible herb. So this card is encouraging that practice of a spiritual practice that brings your senses to life, that really awakens you. And your mala beads is you connecting to divine is you saying your prayers it's you really opening up to source so that you may be led you may make that connection so that you can walk on this journey connected to the divine without a third party influencing you without a third party deciphering and decoding the messages that are here for you so this card is really encouraging you to start having a spiritual practice because this is going to help sharpen your intuition. This is going to help sharpen your senses. This card is also talking about that time of evaluation. So this is the great time to evaluate your life, to look at your life because you're going through that transition. This card is also the card of enlightenment. So as you are doing your spiritual practices, you could be finding that you are having enlightenment. You are having incredible information downloads straight from the divine. So this card, Aquarius, is really, really highlighting the importance of you creating that sacred spiritual ritual that really works for you. There is not one size fits all. This is really looking at your life, looking at you, looking at who you are, and then crafting and enjoying that crafting of a sacred ritual. Because we're seeing here, this person is really taking time to put thought, effort into how their connection can be sharpened. So this card is challenging you to say what works for you. No one can tell you what is the a best way of worship. No one can tell you what is the best way of connecting to the divine because we are leaving the age of Pisces behind. The age of Pisces, the church and religion was strong. It had a stronghold on people. And there you were told 
what was the best way to pray. They were told what was the best way of doing this, that and that. And if you stepped out of that guidelines, you were frowned upon. But now that we're going into the age of Aquarius, religion is slowly giving way to individuality. So now this is your time to take your spiritual practice into your, your own hands. This is the time to take time out to make that connection to ask those questions because God is within all of us. There's no need for religion. There's no need for a middle person. There's no need for even a tarot reader because you can make that connection yourself. And as you strengthen this intuitive muscle, as you strengthen your connection to the divine, you're going to see how you are going to grow. You're going to see how spirit is going to lead you more and more. Yes, there is a place for religion. Yes, there's a place for religious leaders. But eventually, we must all take our own spiritual growth into our own hands. We must all grow in wisdom to know what is good for us. Because again, like I said, there is no cookie cutter way of connecting to the divine and the divine really wants to emphasize that message. The divine really wants you to start making this connection, start making beautiful rituals so you can open up and connect to the divine and start your own journey into making this crystal clear connection and that is something that is really good because we're seeing that as you're starting off this journey you have that sort of energy of I need help I need guidance from someone else because this awakening is new to you the senses your senses are being sharpened and it feels strange your senses are being heightened new energetic downgrades uh, rather upgrades are being given to you you're being uplifted and that might feel odd and you might not know what to do with this energy and so we have the next card who is the hierophant and the hierophant is that spiritual guru the hierophant is that organized religion and so as you're going through this journey at first you might feel that you need guidance from someone you need guidance from a spiritual guru a religion and the divine is saying that is good because at the beginning of anything seeking guidance seeking someone who knows more than we do is great because they can empower you they can impart wisdom and knowledge onto you but the divine is also giving a warning of not getting stuck just because you find this spiritual guru this religion that really lights you up and has you feeling wow connected to source has you feeling that glowing that beautiful beautiful connection the divine is saying don't get stuck there because this is where you can start stagnating and stopping your growth as soon as the feeling of that connection being really clear and that excitement and that vibrancy as soon as that starts dwindling this is that cue that says hey this is the time to move on to the next stage it almost feels like being at school you go up a grade and maybe you are in year one or grade one and it feels really hard it feels really odd but as you're coming towards the end of the year the class is getting a little bit easier you're finding the information not as stimulating you're getting a bit bored and it's not as exciting anymore you're not being challenged anymore but you don't stay say oh but grade one is easy now so i'm just gonna stay in grade one or year one for the next 10 years because i find it easy now i can i can navigate my way the divine is saying no you move on to year two or grade two 
and again you get challenged again you get frustrated because you don't understand the information so well and as the year goes on and on the information starts getting clearer and easier and soon you're moving on to grade three and on and on and on and equally this is how it is with your spiritual awakening so don't get tricked into staying with one type of religion or spiritual leader or spiritual guru or whatever it is or maybe just one way of worshipping and practicing and really making the connection to source there's not just one way there are many ways so use your wisdom use your discernment and be aware when you start finding things getting boring when you start feeling a bit stagnant because that's that cue for you to to move on on to more challenging situations and so we're going to look at our first oracle card and it's interesting to see that our first oracle card is also speaking of transformation it's also speaking of the same type of energies that the tarot cards are speaking of so this card is saying that you are going through that transformation and it's telling you that things are changing on a cellular level and you're going through that deep healing so that's interesting that not only are you changing on the mental plane subconsciously you're changing and also your body is changing too so it is time to sit down to rest to heal to get used to this new upgrade this new vibration that you are now vibrating on so that was an interesting card to see there so as you are going through this journey as you are going through this period it is encouraged to find your soul family it is encouraged to call upon your tribe to call upon people who are going through similar transitions right you don't have to do this alone and this is what the hierophant card was talking about that it is normal to seek out maybe religion spiritual leaders gurus whatever it is it is normal to feel that you don't want to walk on this journey alone so find your soul tribe but remember not to get stuck there remember that this could be a time a year or two years and eventually you feel that you know it is time to upgrade again so do not get stuck here but at the same time remember that you don't have to do this alone this is not a journey that you have to figure out all alone find people who can encourage you who can inspire you who can give you some information some pointers go here go there do this do that and then when you've got this when you're ready to take the steering wheel it is that cue to say okay now move on to something else keep going the spiritual awakening journey the divine is saying is not just that one event type of journey no it's step by step by step by step you're learning you're growing you're learning you're growing and equally you could be that person who is then teaching other people you are the person who is also saying to other people when i was on this journey this is what happened to me and i developed a spiritual practice and i found it really helpful this is what worked for me i don't know if it's going to work for you so you are being the hierophant yourself and helping other people as they transition as they journey through this spiritual awakening so the next card we have is encouraging you to be here and now be present in the moment are you existing in the past are you focusing on what went wrong in the past the trauma the disappointments the pain or are you in the future where you're afraid about what 2021 is going to look like is there going to be a world war are we going to be having the economy crashing are we 
going to be facing this and that. So the divine is saying that the challenge for you is really to be in the here and the now. Not in the past, not in the future, but in the here and the now, in the present. Because this is how you're going to learn and this is how you're going to make that connection. Because when you're in the future or in the past, you are not here. And the present is how you make the connection that is helping you on this journey. So be here and now. The next card we have is reminding you that whilst the best place is to be the here and the now and being present, being present right now, it is also encouraged to have a vision. Yes, having a vision means going into the future and seeing how you see what the future is going to look like and how you can co-create into bringing that future. So now here's your challenge. How can you hold a vision of the future and yet be centered in the here and now? How can you do both? So this is that energy of being the alchemist of your life. This is that energy of being able to, to plan for the future, but not staying in the future. Planning in the future, knowing what you want, but knowing that the secret to life is to be here and now. The future never comes, like they say, tomorrow never comes. And the past, well, you cannot go back to yesterday and redo it again. So all you can do is focus on how you're feeling now, how you're growing, and what it is that you want in the future, but remaining centered between the two. So that's the challenge that you have there. So the last card is asking you to ignite your passion. Mm. Aquarius, your passion, your growth, as you're growing, as you are surrendering and letting go, you're going to start wanting to bring out your passions so that you can create a new life based on the things that you love. And you're creating your future, your life, your abundance through your passion. So going forward, the divine is really emphasizing that making a living should incorporate what your passion, your blessings are. What feels good to you. This is that clue of what you should be doing in this life. And just like I love doing tarot cards, I love learning, I love growing in this department. This is what I could do every day and I do most of, most of my day every single day. Because I am challenging myself to learn, to grow, to really make that connection. Really sharpening my intuitive skills. And this is how I merged my passion into my day-to-day -day job into my abundance and equally the divine is saying your transition as you're awakening as you're going through the different stages as you're coming towards the end of this journey you are going to really start challenging yourself to bring out your passion so you can help other people on their journey so that you can really feel lit up so it doesn't feel like you're doing a job because you are doing what you love. And so, Aquarius, this is the challenge. This is the reading that I have for you. Again, my website is in the description box below if you need your own personal reading done. Remember to share this video and give it a thumbs up. Comment, share where you are in this journey right now. On that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.